Right, uh, starting with uh, this sad news which is coming in from Madhya Pradesh. Another cheetah, Uday, has uh, died uh, in the Kuru National Park. Uday was brought from South Africa and has died uh, during treatment after he was found sick at the Kuru National Park. The reason for the death exactly is not known at this moment. This is what the MP Chief Conservator of Forest, J.S. Chauhan, has told NDTV. But uh, sad news, in fact, coming in there for, uh, of the 20 uh, cheetahs from Namibia and uh, uh, South Africa, which were brought uh, to, uh, to Kuru National Park. Now 18 are still remaining. Going across to my colleague uh, Anurag uh, Dwari, who is joining us with more details on this. Anurag, uh, what's the word that you are getting from the administration on this? Now, this also will raise a lot of eyebrows as far as the welfare of these cheetahs are concerned. Definitely, but Uday appeared lethargic and was limping. Uh, and he was tranquilized and administered the first round of treatment at around 11 a.m. Uh, today. Uh, and after which he was taken out from the large enclosure. But at around 4 p.m., Uday died. And uh, as per the PCCF, the cause of death will be determined after the post-mortem. So a second uh, a death of uh, Cheetah in Kono National Park, uh, two months after it was brought to India from South Africa, Six-year-old Uday was one of the 12 cheetahs flown into the country in February. And now 18 uh, uh, cheetahs out of 20 who were brought to India in the world's first intercontinental translocation project that aims at reintroducing the big cats in the country. Uh, so uh, now uh, out of 20, 18 are left, Ankit. Thank you for uh, joining us with more details on this. All right, let's move on uh, to the big story that uh, we've been tracking through the day on NDTV. Amritpal Singh, a radical preacher who has been on the run for the last 36 days, uh, was arrested by the Punjab police in Moga today. He has been arrested by the police and taken to the central prison in Assam's Dibrugar, confirming the arrest. Punjab police asked people to maintain uh, law and order and not spread any fake information. Now, Amrit Pal was uh, shifted to Dibrugar from uh, along where already eight of his other aides and associates have been put after the stringent National Security Act was slapped on them. Now, this allows detention of the accused for up to one year without any charges being filed. Take a look at the complete story. Finally, the surrender after 35 days on the run. Pro Khalistani leader Amrit Pal Singh walked out of a Gurudwara in Punjab's Moga at 6.45 this morning. The surrender came after he addressed his followers inside this Gurudwara in Rode village. The birthplace of terrorist Bhindrawale, who Amrit Pal says is his inspiration. He told his followers that the surrender marks the beginning of his fight against the criminal cases under his name. At night, I came to Rode Pend. I also knew the police that they were giving Rode Pend. They were giving me the Rode Pend. They said that I will do the same thing after the Rode Pend. I will do the same thing after the Rode Pend. I will do the same thing after the Rode Pend. I will do the same thing after the Rode Pend. I will do the same thing after the Rode Pend. I will do the same thing. Despite running away from the Punjab police for over a month, changing cities, attires and vehicles, Amrit Pal said that he's not scared of being arrested in a video he released before surrendering to the Punjab police. The police though describe it as an arrest. We had special uh, specific inputs that he is in village Rote. So our teams, uh, joint teams of our intelligence wing and Amritsar rural police, they surrounded the village. They laid nakkas at various points in the village. And Amritpal knew that he has been surrounded by the police from all sides. So ultimately, he came out of the Gurdwara Sahib and he was arrested at that spot. The operation, which was a joint effort of the Punjab police and central agencies, was monitored by the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan through the night. I didn't sleep the whole night. 15 मिनट बाद हर आधे घंटे बाद मैं पूछता रहता था कि क्या हुआ लेकिन पंजाब ने लोगों ने जो साथ दिया उसके लिए मैं बहुत आभारी हूँ कि उन्होंने अमन शांति को 
भंग नहीं होने दिया क्योंकि पंजाब ने बहुत से काले दिन पहले देखे हैं और पंजाब अब तरक्की करेगा पंजाब अब देश को लीड करेगा लेटर इन द मॉर्निंग अमृतपाल वॉज फ्लोन टू डिब्रूगढ़ इन असैम ऑन अ स्पेशल इंडियन एयरफोर्स ए एन थर्टी टू एयरक्राफ्ट His nine aides booked under the stringent National Security Act are already in the Dibrugarh Central Jail. It is inside this highly secure Dibrugarh Central Jail that Amrit Pal Singh has been now kept. It is also here that nine of his associates were brought before and they are housed here. Amrit Pal Singh will be interrogated by several agencies in connection to his plans his links as well as his funding source and also on inputs that he is associated with handlers from pakistan and other countries the arrest comes almost 2 months after amritpal singh came under the punjab police's radar when he stormed the ajnala police station along with his supporters carrying swords breaking barricades and openly threatening the punjab police to release his aid lovepreet tufan with several police officers injured the incident led to amrit pal being booked under attempt to murder among other cases but his parents after his arrest say that the cases against him are false bhi aisa laga ki aapke bete amrit pal singh ne kuch galat kiya hai हमारी नजर में तो कुछ हमारे सामने ही रहता था हम हम इनको तो कुछ लगा नहीं इसलिए गवर्नमेंट ने अगर उनको गिरफ्तार करना होता तो घर से आराम से किया जाता तो वो ड्रामा करना था वो किया नहीं नहीं कोई नहीं उन्हें पोगा उड़ा गया ना सरकार का जेड़ा वो चेहरा लोगों के सामने लिया उन बेकार उन्हें पेंकी ने नेता कटे कि सरकार का जेड़ा ना काम चेहरा वाला लोगों के सामने आ जाए कि ना लोगों ने तक शाही करन दी सरकार जो सिक्की से रोज से जान बहुत मान महसूस होया अभी चलो साबत सूरत सिक्की से लोग जो ने सलंडर किया But the Amritpal chapter is not closed with his arrest. Government sources say that he had support from Pakistan's ISI in his rise from a truck driver in Dubai to a popular pro-Khalistani leader in Punjab. The Punjab police is now working to ensure peace in Punjab. The crackdown on the pro-Khalistani leader also led to attacks on the Indian consulates abroad earlier. With Saurabh Shukla and Neeta Sharma in New Delhi and Ratnadeep Chaudhary in Assam, Priyanshi Sharma for NDTV. The other big story today was uh, once again the wrestlers, those who have come out uh, in open defiance of the wrestling boss again. In fact, uh, the top wrestlers of the country are back on the protest. This time, they want the arrest of WFI chief Bridbushan Sharan Singh, who happens to be a BJP MP. Seven wrestlers, including a minor, have a sexual harassment complaint against the WFI chief, through an though an FIR has not been registered yet, prompting the wrestlers to sit at Jantar Mantar. Olympic medalist Sakshi Malik, Asia medalist Vinesh Fogart, Olympic medalist Bajrang Punia, and other top wrestlers are back on protest. Unhappy because their earlier complaint against WFI President Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh was not acted upon by the Sports Ministry. Today, seven women and one minor filed a complaint at the Connaught Place Police Station, but an FIR is yet to be registered. मैं बताना चाहूंगी हमने दो दिन पहले सीपी पुलिस थाने में कंप्लेंट दी थी और दो दिन हो गए हैं अभी तक एफआईआर दर्ज नहीं की गई है आ, हमारी सात लड़कियों ने कंप्लेंट की थी जिसमें से एक लड़की एक लड़की माइनर है पॉक्सो केस बनता है लेकिन अभी तक कोई सुनवाई नहीं हुई ना एफआईआर दर्ज हुई जिसके खिलाफ में हम लड़ रहे हैं वो कितने स्ट्रॉन्ग है हमें नहीं पता उनको बताने के लिए कौन लोग उनका साथ दे रहे हैं कौन नहीं दे रहे हैं लेकिन हमें हम देश की जनता से न्याय मांगने आए हैं देश की उच्च न्यायालय से हम न्याय मांगने आए कि हमें न्याय दिया जाए अभी एफ आई केस के लिए हमने कंप्लेंट डाल दी है एफ हो जाएगी तो अपने आप ही पता लग जाएगा कि भाई खिलाड़ी झूठ बोल रहे थे या सच बोल रहे थे पहले बोल रहे थे कि आप एफ आई नहीं कर रहे अभी खिलाड़ियों ने एफ के लिए भी सात लड़कियों ने जब एफ कर दी है उसके बाद भी कोई एक्शन नहीं हो रहा है जब तक अरेस्ट नहीं होता जब तक हम नहीं The oversight committee appointed by the ministry in January after the initial round of protest submitted its report in the first week of April but it is yet to be made public. NDTV has learned that Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh has been given a clean chit 
because the wrestlers could not prove the allegations against him. Now seven complainants have come to take their fight against Singh forward. The ministry, which is yet to respond, is on a sticky wicket. Either they open a fresh probe against Bridbush and Sharan Singh or leave the country's top medalists in distress. In New Delhi, Rika Roy for NDTV. My colleague uh, Rika now gives us what is the road ahead and how is the sports ministry this time going to solve this issue. The wrestlers are once again protesting and this is happening after two and a half months of uh, the first time they protested. The difference between the last time and this time around is that last time they did not file any FIR against Bridgebushan Sharan Singh, the president of WFI, even, the, even though they brought charges of sexual harassment against him. But this time, seven wrestlers, including a minor, have come forward uh, to press charges against him. They have given a written complaint, but the FIR still hasn't been lodged. Meanwhile, the sports ministry had asked the wrestlers uh, to get back to their training venues to prepare for uh, the upcoming Asian Games. Some of them, of course, are taking part in the ranking tournaments, but most of country's top wrestlers are protesting uh, against Bridgebushan uh, Sharan Singh. Right now, they want him to be arrested. Um, however, uh, it seems that the government at this moment is not in a mood to negotiate with the wrestlers uh, anymore. The sports minister will be in Imphal for the next two days for a Chintan Shivir. Meanwhile, IOA, Indian Olympic, uh, Indian, uh, Olympic Association is also finishing their reports. Um, the wrestlers are demanding that these two reports uh, uh, that uh, of uh, inquiries conducted against Wrestling Federation of India be made public. But before the reports have been given to them or made public, they have decided to go on protest yet again. And now their demand is that they wouldn't return to the match till the time Bridge Bush and Sharan Singh, the president of WFI, is brought to books. Now let's shift focus to some uh, political news. In fact, uh, election campaigning in Karnataka reaching the peak. Now, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has also hit the election campaign trail. Rahul Gandhi was in the state of Karnataka today and uh, he in fact uh, participated in the Basava Jayanti program as well. Now speaking uh, after a huge road show and a public rally, Rahul Gandhi's uh, the entire program was designed uh, to address, reach out to the Lingayat community. Rahul Gandhi at this occasion said that uh, once again, in fact, used the 40% commission government jive at the BJP's current government in the state of Karnataka and said Congress is winning the elections of Karnataka. Take a look. <laughs> अलग बालास तो नानो खुद क्या नहीं देवतो कोशिश की प्रयत्न कर रहे हैं कि उनकी किताब में उनकी सोच में कहीं 40 परसेंट कमीशन लेने की बात हो मैंने उनकी सोच में ढूंढने की कोशिश की कि जनता से लूटो ना तो वो लोग चिंता नहीं करेंगे और आज की दुनिया में प्रॉपर सीज़न है ये लाज पूरा ये तो तो चलेगा well, Rahul Gandhi is campaigning for the Congress uh, in Karnataka. Meanwhile, the Home Minister Amit Shah was in another southern state, Telangana, where the Home Minister, in fact, uh, hit out straight at the Chief Minister of uh, Telangana, KCR. The Home Minister said that uh, the campaign, in fact, uh, the people uh, will throw the government of KCR very, very soon. Their days are numbered. This is the first rally that we have seen. It is the first thing that we have seen. That in the coming of the Vidhan Sabha Chunao, we have seen the government of Pratyan Bahumat, the Bhatiya Janta Party, the government of the Bhatiya Janta Party. Eight, nine years ago, 
बीआरएस का जो भ्रष्टाचारी शासन चल रहा है उसकी उल्टी गिनती शुरू हो चुकी है हमारे पंडित संजय को केसीआर ने जेल में डाल दिया है उनको लगता है कि भाजपा कार्यकर्ता जेल में जाने से डरते हैं केसीआर कान खोल कर सुन लो यहां एक एक कार्यकर्ता आपके अत्याचार और जुर्म सहने से डरता नहीं है इन समाधा पॉलिटिकल न्यूज the rumblings for a bigger coalition for 2024 against prime minister narendra modi now taking shape bihar chief minister nitish kumar is expected to visit kolkata to meet chief minister of west bengal mamta banerjee on april 25th he will also meet akhilesh yadav earlier nitish kumar met congress aam aadmi party and cpi leaders remember he has been tasked by the congress party uh, to try and reach out to the political parties those who have for one reason or the other been keeping some distance from the congress Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman warned the public on Sunday about uh, the risk of following financial influencers on social media platforms saying many of them are driven by ulterior motives to promote fraudulent ponzi schemes three or four people giving us very objective good advice there are seven others out of 10 who are probably driven by some other considerations there are also apps which are coming out and reaching out to people saying we can do this we can do that your money will fetch you this much many of whom are ponzi the apps on which we are working with the ministry concerned the metee ministry and with the reserve bank and clamping down on them like never before so that we don't get those ponzi apps taking away hard earned money so social influencers fin influential influencers are all out there but a very strong sense of caution is required in each one of us to make sure that we do double checking counter checking talking with people don't go as a flock into something because somebody else has gone and you also go without doing your due diligence we have to be careful it's our hard worked money you earned it you save it you protect it